Hi, I'm Eric, one of Divine Chocolate's chocolatiers. Today I'm going to show you the best way to get the most out of tasting chocolate. This is called a sensory chocolate tasting and it helps to slow us down to get a more enjoyable experience tasting chocolate. The tasting collection has six different flavors of our delicious fair trade chocolate. We're going to use all five of our senses to get to know each one. Along the way, we'll do a series of tests to help us get to know the chocolate even better. We're going to start with our seriously smooth milk chocolate. We begin by using our eyes. Let's take a look at the packaging to see if we can find some interesting tasting notes as well as a flavor wheel which will help us a bit later in our tasting. If you open it up, you'll see some information about where the cocoa is grown to make this chocolate. A bit unusual for milk chocolate, we can see that there is 45% cocoa in this bar, which gives it an extra boost of rich flavor. We can learn a lot about how this chocolate has been treated just by looking at it. You may have seen a white coating on your chocolate before. This is called a fat bloom. This is the cocoa butter coming to the surface. Perhaps it got too hot. This isn't a bad thing, and of course it's still very edible. If you tilt it so it catches the light, we should see a very smooth, glossy surface. This shows us the chocolate has been well tempered. This will give us a better mouth feel when we go to taste it later on. Next, let's see what we can learn by touching the chocolate. Run a finger over the surface. It should feel very smooth and not at all gritty. If we do feel any grittiness, this could be a sign that there has been a sugar bloom. This is where the sugar in the chocolate has separated and come to the surface. Again, much like a fat bloom, it's not bad. It's just an indication that the chocolate is not in its optimum condition. I'd still eat it. So rub your finger on the corner to pick up more chocolate. Now rub between your thumb and fingers. It shouldn't have any oily qualities. We use cocoa butter in our chocolate and never any alternatives. The cocoa butter brings its unique flavor qualities to the chocolate. It's time for us to use our ears and have a listen to the chocolate. The best way for us to do this is to get it nice and close to our ears and be a little patient. Of course, it's not actually going to speak to us, but there is a test that we can do to use our hearing. This is called the snap test, and it helps us to see the quality of the temper. Tempering chocolate is a process that locks the chocolate together and gives it the right texture. Hold it with two hands close to your ear and snap it. You should hear a snapping sound. Of course, this is milk chocolate and it will be a bit softer. If we were tasting with dark chocolate, it would be a much clearer snap. Let's move, Let's move on to our sense of smell. Did you know the human nose can detect one trillion different scents? Let's see if we can identify a few here. Take a small piece of chocolate and cup it in your hands like this. Take a big breath through your nose. When smelling like this, it's always good to open our mouth slightly as well. Hmm. We're looking to see if we can discern any aromas. Cocoa beans are fermented in banana leaves as part of the production process. See if you can pick up any banana as well. This cocoa was grown in Ghana in West Africa. West African cocoa is known for having a red berry quality to it. See if you can pick up on any of that. This milk chocolate should have some elements of malt, vanilla and caramel. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. We're going to taste the chocolate. Let's take a small piece of chocolate and place it in our mouth. Sit it on our tongue, but don't bite it. Let it melt slowly with the heat of your mouth. Start to move the chocolate around your mouth. Can you pick out any of that banana flavor? How about those red berries? Now we can do something called cooking. We'll draw the air in and move the flavors around our mouth. Let's have a look at the flavor wheel inside the packaging. Starting in the middle, see if you can pick out any fruity flavors. There's no wrong answer here. Everyone will have a different potential. 
The more you taste, the more you'll come to know what works for you and you can search those flavors out. Why not try another bar? Try a dark bar this time. Go through the same five steps, looking, touching, listening, smelling, and taste it and see if you can find your favorite. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to get more out of your chocolate. If you'd like to find out more about Divine Chocolate and how every bar directly improves the lives of farmers, why not have a look at our website at divinechocolate.com.